What are symbolic links in Windows 10? Are they real or just symbolic? Maybe it's best to think of them just like superpowered shortcuts. Here we're going to talk about symbolic links, what they are and how to create them in Windows 10. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to create symbolic links in Windows 10. Symlinks or symbolic links is one of the lesser known yet useful features in Windows. You can think of symbolic links as shortcuts you create in Windows. However, symbolic links are much more powerful and helpful than just regular shortcuts. Let's discuss what symbolic links are and how you can easily create them in Windows 10. What are symbolic links? When you create a shortcut for a file or folder, all you're doing is pointing it to that specific file or folder, nothing more. Symbolic links are much more than a simple shortcut. They act as a virtual file or folder that links to the actual file or folder. When you create a sim link for a file, it appears as if it is the actual file, when in reality it is directing you towards the real file in the background. Besides files, you can also create sim links for folders. Simply put, a sim link is nothing more than a build of the text string which lets the operating system know that it is just a path for another file or folder. For instance, most cloud service apps you install will only sync files and folders located in their own folder, but there will be times when you might have a folder in some other drive which you want to sync with the cloud storage service. However, you don't want to move the folder from its actual location or don't want to create a copy of the folder. In those situations, you can simply create a sim link in the cloud service folder so that you can sync the contents of the target folder without actually moving or copying the real folder. Since a sim link is just a virtual folder that just acts as a path to the real folder, you don't need to worry about the sim link consuming any disk space. Create symbolic links using command prompt. Creating sim links in Windows is pretty easy with the mklink command. To start, press Win plus X, then select the option Command Prompt Admin to open the command prompt with admin rights. Once the command prompt has been opened, use the following command format to create a sim link for the file. mklink, and then the link, and then target. So the command looks something like this. The first path you see in the above command is where you will create your sim link. This path is called a link. The second path belongs to the actual file on your disk and is called target. Once the sim link has been created, this is how it looks in the file explorer. Though the icon looks like a regular shortcut, it is in fact a sim link. Along with the individual files, you can create sim links for entire directories. To do that, use the switch slash D, which allows you to create a sim link for a directory or folder, like so. As soon as you execute the command, the sim link will be created for the target directory. You can use it to access all the files and folders within the real folder. If you ever want to, you can actually delete the symbolic link like any other file or folder. Just select the sim link and press the delete key on your keyboard and you're good to go. There you have it. It's literally that simple to create symbolic links in Windows 10. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.